Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a Chart Nerd technical analysis video. Before I start, this video is not financial advice and is all for educational and entertainment purposes only. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up, a comment, and maybe even subscribe if I'm lucky. Diving into Velo today on the weekly time frame, I did post an update about two and a half weeks ago on a recap for Velo. Uh, I did have a slightly bullish bias at the time, and that was because we did break out of this key level of resistance that we was under since, uh, well, a couple of years here. And Velo did ta tackle that out in April and go to put in a higher high. So what I was looking at is we we have got and still do, should I say, have bullish structure. Nothing here looks overly bearish to me on the macro scale of things because you've got this low here. We come up to this high. We've come back to a higher low. And right now we've got a higher high. So as long as we can hold these lows down here back in August of 2023 for Velo, then there's nothing to worry about because we're still putting in this sort of bullish structure where you've got higher highs and higher lows. Okay, up she goes, basically. So on the macro scale of things, there isn't anything bearish uh, long term or macro to me yet until we start coming down and losing these lows here in 20 of, of 2023. So right now, all we're doing is very similar to something that we've done before in the past. So in this correction from this level of resistance that was created in February of 2023, we can see that Velo had this sort of five wave I haven't got that bang on guys, but a five wave correction back down to, to key support. Now, what this did was create this multi-year ascending support line for us that I've got on here. So you can see we've got points of contact right from this low here, where the, the, the all time low is in December, 2022. We came up for a second point of contact of it here in August, 2023. And to confirm the bottom, we created some sort of double bottom along this line. Forgive me for that noise. We we created a, um, a foundational double bottom. And off of that level is where we've seen this insane rally from the letter uh, that Q4 of 2023 into Q1 of 2024. And within this rally is where we took out this level of resistance. And in the last video, I was saying, hey, Velo is looking to come back here, turn this resistance into support and continue the trend. And that was my 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 bias at the time looking at Velo. However, I did mention in my previous update that if Velo does come back any further, then 0 0.007 would be the target. And right now, that's exactly where we've come to. So I will explain in a little bit more detail as how I got that target in a second. But let me show you the clip from my last video. Here we go, guys. So I'll show you now. All being considered, if we look for a larger sort of correction here, then I think equally we could be coming down to 0 0.007. So if Velo does, doesn't sort of have relief and we do sort of come in for some larger correction, just look for the 0 0.050 and 0 0.618 as support. Right, so we had the 0, uh, 0, 050 as 0 0.007 as support and the 0, 0618 and the golden ratio at 0 0.005. So let's just get that on our charts now. So how I got that was by getting a fib from the local high here in May, going back down to the, the previous low of which we rallied up from back here in August 2023. And what you'll notice is, I'll just drag it on a bit further here and just get this over to the low so you can see where the low is. Uh, let's just get these channel lines off as well. What what you'll notice is that, yes, we, we've come back down to 0 0.0069 slash seven area, which is where I was thinking that if we do see further pullbacks to, we could see some relief. And now if we zoom into the daily, what you'll notice is how we've actually got to this phase is very similar to how the, the larger macro wave correction I showed you at the start of this video was. We had a five wave correction. So we had a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five. And that's how we found our way back down to this 050, of which I was expecting if we failed to hold the, the previous high as support. Okay, so we was looking for 0 0.0015, which was this high. We was looking for this sort of area to hold in price, okay, um, as, as support but it hasn't and we are coming back for a little bit deeper of a correction here. Now going back to the weekly, okay, where we've had these five waves down, right now it wouldn't surprise me if from this range at 0 0.007, so if we are seeing relief from this range, it wouldn't surprise me to see us run back into a golden ratio on a retracement from this low back to this high of which we've come, in, uh, come back down from. So um, I'm sorry if this gets a bit confusing, but what it might until now is us sort of having some five wave impulsive move back up to 0.014 or these local wick highs here uh, between 0.012 to 1.4 before making a decision whether we're actually gonna start coming back up to attack this high again or if we're gonna roll over and find another key level of support 
before looking for continuation of the trend. I think over the next coming weeks are gonna be very crucial for Velo and it all depends on us taking out these levels of resistance we now have above us before getting back to this high. But right now, I think looking at other areas of the market, i.e. Bitcoin dominance and how ETH's performing against Bitcoin, right now, I still think even though the Bitcoin dominance is looking like it's gonna roll over and when it does, this normally signifies great strength for alts or a sort of rotation from Bitcoin going over into altcoins. And I think we're very close to that stage, but I still think there is some fear left and some final sort of capitulations to occur. Now, this is why I think over the next coming weeks, we could see Bitcoin in the markets pick up with some relief. But leading into Q4, maybe by September, October times, I think we will see new lows put in for a lot of altcoins against Bitcoin. And that is when we could see some real, real growth, you know, to into going into Q4. I think the start of Q4 into Q1 2025 is going to be insane for altcoins. Now, where could, if we get rejected and if we do have a pump up over the next couple of weeks, where could we be coming back down to for support? Well, so what we have to keep in mind is 0 0.014 is our key result, uh, resistance area if we do see an improvement over the next couple of weeks. We have to get back above that range in order to see any sort of move back up to this high. So keep that in mind, 0 0.014. Um, but getting all this off, and going back to the Fibonacci, the, the, the larger Fib, where we go from this high back down to the low of August, I think if we do see this rally up to that 0 0.014 range, then I think we could see a correction back down to 0 0.618. Now, for this to be confirmed, we have to lose this 0 0.05 low. So there's lots of if, buts, and maybes, guys, but I'm just trying to show you all scenarios here. Over the next couple of weeks, if we do start rallying and see good signs, we have to tackle out that 0 0.014 area if we don't and we start coming back i expect us to lose the 050 and come back down to the 0618 for a final retouch of support now hear me out in my last video i also had an ascending support line so from this support line wouldn't it be ironic to see us come down to this crossroads you can see we've got a crossroads here in september so if we are to see some sort of a, which we've just had B wave into that 0 0.014 area uh, that I keep talking about, and then a C wave, we could have some sort of A, B, C correction, depending if you want to go from the closes. We could have some sort of A, B, C correction back down to this crossroads here in September. And what that would entail is us having multiple levels of contact on this ascending support line. You can see here in August 2023, where we actually started this insane run, we actually built a foundational base with two touch points on this trend line where we had a low here we came up met resistance but came back for a higher low a few weeks later and then just shot off into space so right now i think potentially if bitcoin doesn't behave over the next uh, few months and we have some relief in the next couple of weeks uh for whatever reason there's a less pressure from germany selling or you know all the narratives that people try and attach price to if we do see some sort of call off expect velo to rally up and i think then we will continue this downtrend back to 0 0.005 these this this is uh, I think my target for the next couple of months for us. And I, I, as I said, I'm not being perma bearish. I'm not a perma bear or, or, or some sort of bear for Velo. I think this has got a great utility and a, a great, great project, but it's just not unfamiliar to see once you have these insane price uh, rallies, you, you know, we do see large 85% corrections that are in some sort of waveform and that do pull back to key areas of support. I'm not gonna shy away from the fact that this correction was 89%. You know, I'm not saying that we have to go through that sort of correction again now, but if we look at where we are from this high, right now we're only down 76%. So to go down into the 80s and pull us down to the, to, to the mid 80s range, you know, 83% brings us to 0 0.005. And these size uh, corrections, you know, they're, they're not, uncommon in this market uh, and what this was in, would entail even though if we do come back down to this sort of level here at this crossroads the structure still remains bullish macro you've got the low i said at the start you've got a high okay you've got a higher low you've got a higher high this would be a higher low before the next gearing move up to put in a higher high and then you all you've got is this macro bullish market structure that is messy i'm sorry but right now there's nothing to worry about there's nothing to worry about. Alternatively, alternatively, this could 
be the low in here. It could be, it really could be. And we might not actually come back down to this sort of ascending support line that I keep talking about. This could be the low. But again, I, I need to emphasize for us to, to see it be the low, we have to tackle out of this golden ratio. It's the same on the way up, it's the same on the way down. We now have levels of resistance above us that we need to get back above. And this is why I think this could leave into the B wave before the final C to that 0618, where you've got an A, a B into the golden ratio, and then a final capitulation back down to the support level that I keep talking about, okay? This ascending support line. So it's, it's a very, very high potential, okay? But for this to be the low and for my theory to be invalid, we have to see Velo start to climb and get back above this ratio. Okay, if we start getting back above and rallying to this high, game on. And I don't think this ascending support line will be touched. But right now, it does look like we've had several weeks slash a couple of months of, of, of just downtrend. It wouldn't surprise me to see some relief followed by a further correction back down to this ascending support, which is where Velo could potentially see some really, really nice relief. If we come down to this 050 target that I'm looking at, uh, 0618 target at 0 0.055. We can even get another fib on from this level back to this high and it would give us our next sort of impulsive move target for Velo. So from this low, okay, if, sorry, if the 0618 is the low, from this low, Velo would be looking at the next move of a minimum 8x uh, up to the 1272. Um, <clears throat> and potentially a, a 16x up to the 1618 at 0 0.08. And to be fair, my next macro impulsive target, this, zero, this 1618 doesn't sit too far from it. The next macro target for me would be, I think it's around 10 cents I was looking at. About 10 cents for Velo. And the reason that is, so let's just keep this fib on here, this one, because we've got 0 0.008, which isn't far. The reason why I've got 10 cent as my next impulsive target from this all-time low back up to the all-time high is because you will see that the 0.618, again, the golden ratios, guys. This is where I think Velo from this low is trying to worm its way back up to, is trying to worm its way to the zero, the 0 0.050 and the 0.618. And look at this fib. If, if, if Velo does come to 0 0.05, the 1272 target, the next breakout target is exactly the same as the 0 0.050. It seems like a match made in heaven. If we do sort of have this final wave down here to 0 0.05, back to this ascending support line and start to rally back up. These are my next macro targets, 0 0.044 to 0 0.10. And they both tie up with very similar targets from this low to this high at the 1272 and 1618. I hope this isn't too confusing for you guys. I'm sorry I can sort of blab on here. But as I'm saying, Velo is now correcting. If we come down to this support from this fib the next impulsive targets would be 0 0.04 and 0 0.08 and the macro targets from this fib on this all-time low back to the all-time high what sorry what you'll notice is um the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.50 sit very closely with the two targets from this this fib to this high so it, you know not set in stone guys we don't have to come back down to uh, 0 0.005 as I said the 050 could be the low right here but we have to tackle above we have to tackle above 0 0.014 and 0 0.016 in order to say that this is the low in right now and we're looking to march on as again to confirm if not I think we could see a rally followed by a dip and then we start the next move Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the content today and I haven't blabbed on too much and you sort of understand my theory. Nothing that I say is financial advice. It's all for educational and entertainment purposes only. I hope you enjoyed the content, guys. From Chartner TA, take care. Peace out.